Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And in this video, I'm going to show you 50 or more than 50 different base locations that are rat holes, PvP based locations that you can use on Ark Survival Ascended Aberration. Now, obviously, you can see this is what's around me right now. I'm going to gamma up just a touch. So that way you guys can see a little bit. I'll try and keep it a little darker so we can see some of that. But if you haven't played this map, you definitely need to turn on volumetric cloud and fog to zero. It saves you a ton of problem. So obviously right now, this is what we're looking at. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to leave this like cords are going to be in the upper left corner of the screen at all times. Just so you can see that. And uh, we're going to start with my favorite base. I'm not going to do what everyone does and be like, hey, you know, this is what we're doing. We're going to go ahead. I believe I named it. Yes. Right. Yeah, there it is. Yes. All right. So yes is the base location that is the alpha on the map, I guarantee it. I had to drink some water before we get started here. All right, so the cords of this are the top of the world and basically it is a giant opening. This is only one way in, one way out, by the way, this entire thing. Enough space where you could build such a massive base that like there's things that spawn in down here. Um, but you could build a absolutely ginormous base in this zone. Now, the entire thing is buildable, just so you can see I'm kind of moving around. And uh, up inside of this little tree right here is the entrance. Now, the entrance right over here is inside of a bigger tree. So basically, you have to land on this platform. You could build a giant like kill box right here and then still build another kill wall over there and even more on the inside. There's enough space in here to host literally any number of players. You could have an entire map built inside of this thing and people would still not be able to see each other super often because that is how massive that zone is. It's kind of crazy. You could literally house like host any number of people up in there and it's it's just it is what it is. So, yeah. Anyways, that's the one I'm going to take the longest on. The other ones I'm going to kind of go pretty quick on um, just so you can see. It's just let's go through the green zone first. I'm going to go through number one is wow. I have a lot here, don't I? I don't know why it organized them like it did. Uh, there we go. Okay. Now where it makes sense. Okay. Blue. Why is it like it says, I don't understand that. Like somebody needs to explain to me how alpha, but uh, all right, we're just going to type in green one. Then that's frustrating that I have to do that, but oh well. All right. Green one and green one of course is at the very bottom and uh so that you saw the cords i'll try and keep it so you guys can see the cords as much as possible but it's going to be up in the upper left uh this is the first base location that i have for you outside of the one it's just to the side of the actual metal zone right there and uh that's that's it you can use the inside of these four things right here this one's my favorite because it's got a little bit of a latch zone that you can get inside if you can't really throw a turtle or anything in here so raiding it would not be super easy unless you were throwing like tech nades, but some turrets up high would just a nice little area that you can go inside of, obviously, in order to help out a little bit. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and go to green two. And let's see where we are with this one. And <clears throat> there we go. I should probably just copy paste, shouldn't I? Whatever. Um, so anyways, this next one, again, we're high up. We're inside of a tree. There it is on the map so you can see it. And there is Fertile Lake right there. There's where we just were over there. And you can actually go up inside of this tree. Hard to see and actually pretty good overall base location. And uh, the lower area, just so you can see, doesn't access the top side like I was just in. So you can only access from like the uh, middle portion right here. But there's a nice little flat zone that you can build. And uh, it's only gradable from that direction over there. So that's pretty useful, obviously. Uh, building a nice little turret wall right over here could certainly help you out quite a bit. There's a lot of bases that are like this on this. Um, you know, I'm going to type in green and then we're going to go ahead and control C that. So I don't have to keep doing this uh, green three. Uh, but a lot of base lo locations like this exist where they're kind of hidden in corners. And I'm going to show you as many of them as I can. So next one, very similar. We are on top of a tree. This is the corner of the tree. Obviously, as you can see, the cords and then there it is on the map. And uh, we are in right above Fertile Lake. Again, you can see there's the other starting point we're at. This is this tree that we're going inside of. There's only a few entrance points that side and then right over here. Kind of easier to raid, but a bigger overall zone that you could defend with. And because it's on the side of the map, it'd be much harder to hit if you have some pretty good defenses. So you could definitely capitalize on a location like this. And uh, yeah, so we're definitely going to use that as our... Um, you can use it as whatever you want, honestly. 
Uh, so in the next location, again, I'm trying to keep them somewhat close to each other so that way you can kind of track. Uh, this is, let's see here, there we go, okay. This is inside of one of the metal zones and just so you can see, here it is on the map. There is Fertile Lake down there. This is the actual metal piece. If you go up behind it, right here, this is the only way in. It's a good little rat hole that you can use just for like a quick little build up purpose. And the only way in is right there. You could obviously build some turrets up there to try and prevent people from getting up to this ledge to soak you because once they actually get to that ledge you're in trouble anyways so you could definitely capitalize on that though this is one of those easy ones to build in so yeah pretty pretty simple wow that i really just i just messed up okay whatever green five and i'm gonna move quickly sorry for those of you that are like you can go back and watch the individual clips i'm trying to get through all of these so it's not like six hours long all right another base location that's super cool and in this little you can see i'm in like a little metal section right here and the only way in is from down there and this is a nice little rat hole right here and the cords and then there it is on the map it would be very difficult to raid this because it is up inside that zone right there so you can easily build up in, into that. It'd be very hard to raid that just because of where it is. And Fertile Lake's right over there in this little ledge is where the actual base location is. <clears throat> so, yep, you can use that one as quick as you, or I mean, as honestly, that's probably an early base location because you'd outbuild it pretty quickly. But I mean, a good little vault area, you can store some stuff in. All right. So another one, this one is incredibly powerful because it's got a crouch point inside of it. And there it is on the map, just so you can see, we are on the edge and this is the metal structure that you can see. And uh, you basically just crouch your way. You can't you can't stand, you can't send dinos up in there. So you have to crouch point your way up into this. And it opens up into a pretty big entrance over here. And there's a little cap top up here too, that you can build using a cliff body on that side probably. And the whole thing is buildable, so that's pretty neat, obviously. And with the only point of entrance being that crouch zone, it's an incredibly powerful location that you can use. And obviously, that's the only entrance. So if you've got good turrets, you're not gonna. No one's getting in there. You just set them on players only, and then just you know point them up there, and you're good to go. So, yeah, kind of hard to complain about that one. I think we're on six. Um, but again, every time I'm clicking on these base locations too, it will expose the base location coordinates. So just so you can see that. All right, so up on top of, no, this is, I just did six. Duh, my brain, sorry. My brain is not working properly. Seven. All right, so um, I was like, this feels like the same location. That's because it is. If I forget some of the numbers, it's because I'm talking and trying to go as quick as I can. All right, so seven is another point on top. We were just over on that side. This is a very nice ledge because this is the ceiling right here. And this is the actual point on the map so you can see it. And this little ledge sticks out. And the benefit of this one is there's no way to cannon it from either of these sides unless you're really kind of cheeky with how you cannon. Um, and you can build on this entire little ledge right here. And the only close point that you could really hit it from would be this ledge right there. And you could just obviously wall that off. But it's a good starting location. Wouldn't say this is a good end game location, but the flatness of it allows this location to be a pretty good building zone to get started up in. There's also some bases nearby this location for kind of for you to move into. Um, I think this is seven. I think I just am in seven right now, aren't I? I'm literally in seven. What am I doing? Green eight. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so this, I mean, it's just an open spot like that. All right, green eight is going to be over here. Another one of those places where there's only one entrance and uh, yeah, pretty good overall zone. You've got a nice little tuck away corner on the back side of this. Obviously you can see um, that this is a nice little area. You can put your safe vault, whatever you need to in here and slowly expand outwards, taking over this zone. And yeah, so it's got two entrances um, and just so you can see it on the map, there you go. And again, pretty high up. It's on the tree, so you can get in from this side right here. And then you can also get in from the other side, which is over here. And both could be platformed, so the outside has a little bit of defenses as well. But it's a good little rat hole that you can easily hide some stuff inside of. And up on top, because you have to travel upwards to get to it, it's a little bit more difficult to get inside of and raid this spot. So, yeah. Zion, man, was this eight? It seems like it's eight. We're gonna go ahead and go to nine because I'm going crazy, I think. Yeah, definitely not nine. <clears throat> 
All right, so if I skip a few because of that, you can see the chords, <laughs> use those. All right, so here is number nine, another base location that is on the top edge of the map. And because it's on the top, it's much harder to hit because for some reason, uh, when you throw things with a crab, they hit the ceiling and then kind of start going down. So people can't just like you used to be able to hit the ceiling and then it would like coast along the ceiling, carry its momentum forwards. Arc Survival Ascendant does not do that. So you can build in this entire zone right over here. <clears throat> and kind of try and take this side over here because people could raid you from this direction but because this is like a little tucked away in the corner over here uh you could do a pretty cool little build and kind of take over this entire zone even like a small section like this to start out uh just because rock drakes are kind of broken right now so it's a little bit difficult to use them because they just don't jump very well right now it's kind of stupid i'm not a big fan of it but you know it is what it is so let's go ahead and go to green 10. All right, so next up, again, another one of those locations that's really high up. This is technically in the mesh, so I want you to see that so you know what you're getting into. But this location is going to be incredibly powerful and probably worth it in all honesty just because of how strong it is. Now, there is the entrance right over there, as you can see the ledge. It does go up and into the mesh, so just be aware of that because you will probably get banned like I did for this. Um, but I, I mean, personally, it's like one of those things, as long as you're not going like way out there and you're building like right here, I think it's stupid, but you know, it is what it is. That's, that's arc for you. Uh, you could easily try and hide your base up in here, but you know, it's up to you again, mesh base, not technically legal. So use that one at your own risk. So let's go ahead and go to green 11. <clears throat> again, I, that's the only one in this video. That's like a mesh location. The rest of them are pretty legit. All right, so this next one is another flat ledge. There is the cords of it, so you can see it is a tree base, and the entire thing is kind of buildable. Uh, there are some really cheeky points that you can get back into and kind of make it difficult to raid just because it's super dark in those locations. I can disable foliage, uh, but I want to show you that it's hard to see this unless you have a tech helmet on, making it kind of easy to get up and into. Um, but this flat ledge right here in the entire thing is buildable um, and it's right up to the ceiling as well. So it's a pretty good location that you can go to. So again, trying to go quickly so that way I don't spend, you know, 700 minutes on this video. But yeah, you get the point. All right. So next location. <clears throat> there we go. All right, so this is another one that's kind of got a little area that you can get up inside of and it doesn't technically go into the mesh unless you get up in here. Um, this will lead you into the mesh, but the entire base, I don't see this in, as something that would be wipeable offense because building in here is not technically in the mesh until you go up into this zone. Um, but this is a base location that existed in uh, Ark Survival Evolved, and basically it's on top of the blue edge one. And you go up as high as you can possibly go, and there's a little crack right here. If you go inside of the crack, it will let you up and in. Now this technically goes into the mesh right there, but you can just build it in this section right over here and build the entire way back up and in. Now you can slide your way up here and go into the mesh, but that's about a million spots on this map. It's a good location to get inside of and should just be able to access quickly. So, and I don't think this one would get you banned unless you're built up in the actual mesh. I think right here, shouldn't be a problem, but that's a personal opinion. So yeah. I got banned for less, so you know, who knows? All right, another popular one from Ark Survival Evolved. These are the cords right here. This is a tree or the exterior tree that goes up and into this little corner. I kind of like it just goes up and into the corner for quite a ways. So it's more of a small, like one or two man little build area that you can go inside of. And just so you can see the actual entrance, I should probably just toggle foliage, huh? Let's just show instanced, instanced, instanced foliage there we go okay so now you can kind of see without grass what it looks like rocks all that kind of stuff um yeah so it would be this tree that you can kind of tuck yourself up and inside of and this is a little area that you can get into it technically but you can build a pretty good little base location just because it's so far up and out of the way so definitely capitalize on this one but uh, let's go ahead and go to the next one green 14 and at the end of this video, I will roll down all of those cords so you can see them all and kind of test them for yourself. But yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm trying to do. All right. So this one is actually a rat hole that goes down on the ground level. These are the cords of it. 
Uh, and what you can do is you see there's a little plant species Z. And then if you actually go right over here, this is an interesting one because you'll have to crouch to get inside of it. This again, this is number of, wow, I can't move. This is 14. Um, earthquakes are lovely. And you can drop your way down inside of this rat hole. Now, again, it depends if you want to build in something like this. Super out of the way, super hard to see. And it's got this nice little buildable zone on the ground. It doesn't go any lower than this, but a sweet little trap that you could certainly put your stuff into. So this existed in Ark Survival Evolved, but it wasn't this big on the bottom side. So it can be used. Now, you will not be able to, there is no way to stand your way up. You will have to build a ramp to get up. So there's like not a way out unless you have a teleporter in there. Uh, so just, yeah, you can see that it always drops you down. So you will have to build something to actually get out of it. But again, not a bad spot to uh, build a base. Really? Why is it not going to let me use the teleporter? I can look at it. I can't use it. What was going on there? Weird. All right, 15. I knew I was like, what am I doing? All right, 15 is the next up. And again, I'll try and cruise through the rest of these. So we're not going too slow. Doing one, one a minute is not bad. I'm going to get Gotta do like two a minute probably to keep this at a reasonable pace. One of my favorite base locations, it is an alpha spot from Ark Survival Evolved. It's just a flat treetop, so you can build the entire way around the outside. This is a large clan or a lot of time people, and uh, you can build the entire thing on the outside. You can start by just building this section and then expanding outwards, but a great overall base location. So yeah, we're just gonna move on to the next one after that. We'll see, that was 16 that was on. Uh, this looks like six. No, it wasn't 16. Okay. <clears throat> All right. 16. All right. Again, another one on top of the tree. This is on a higher ledge that you can get to. And this is the map just so you can see it right near portal. This isn't quite into a rat hole, but it's a ledge that's on top of the map that is super useful to get to. But a 17. I believe this one is where we get into another larger rat hole. Verify to make sure that I'm not going crazy. It's super dark. Yep, this is our first rat hole. This is two of them, technically. There are two right next to each other at 17 and 18. So you can go back up into this zone right here, and I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. There it is. Go up into the left right here, and you can curve your way down into this. You have to crouch, which is another big reason that this is going to be a popular one, and it's huge on the bottom side of this. So you can fit quite a few things inside of this zone right here. And then right next to it is another one. It is a green 18. And this one's even better, if you can believe that. Um, at least I think it's green 18. Either way, we're going up to the area that I need to be in. So that was 17 and 18 is right next to it. It is, so you can see, yeah, that one's up there. This one's right there. And then with this one, it's actually a crouch point as well. And you have to crouch your way down, go into the mesh a little bit and a little further and it opens up into a lovely zone down in here as well now this one also opens up into a back chamber that has a huge building location so you could easily build quite a bit in here and uh yeah it's it's definitely gonna be a popular base location people are for sure built in this on your servers so definitely capitalize on that one and let's go ahead and go to 19. i don't know how many more green we have but we'll get into blue here in a second <clears throat> all right 19 is a nut wait a minute which one's this one? Oh yeah that's where it is okay so anyways this is just the cave if you haven't been in glowtail cave before glowtail cave is another one of those popular base locations just because it is a giant cave with multiple crouch points that you have to go down inside of and it takes a long time to raid so you can use it for sure Glowtail Cave, very powerful. Uh, I kind of have this in the video because a lot of people sometimes forget about it. Do I not have more than green 20? Okay, sweet. Now we're on the blues. All right, blue. Let's go ahead and copy this. Control C. Let's go with one. All right, blue one. So, making some progress here. <clears throat> First blue location. We're going to have to gamma five just so you can see. And uh, this is inside of one of the metal tubes. I think this is gonna be a very powerful location just because you can take the entire tube technically and build in the entire thing if you are really good because you can build up against this border right up here. And it's really difficult to get inside some of these cracks. So you can build literally exits on the cracks right here or turret towers on the cracks. And you can't fly on this map. So it makes it very difficult to raid and especially if you have some tech turrets to shoot things down. 
This entire cave is built, or this entire metal structure is buildable. And there's quite a few nooks and crannies off to the side of these kinds of things where you can kind of like squeeze your way up and in, into a small sized rat hole. I think I see one right now. Yup, there's one right there. And you get my point because you can kind of slide your way around up in here. I'm not going to try and show you all of the nooks and crannies inside this giant tube because you could spend six years here and still find more. Um, so, but again, that's the, uh, just the cords of it. So you can see that and we'll kind of go to the next one. Let's go ahead and go to number two. All right. And number two blue. Again, don't forget cords are in the upper left for those of you that are going to freak out. Inevitably, there's nothing I can do to help you. But anyways, yeah, so this is number two. And this is another one of those popular ones just because it's hard to get to. This is the absolute ceiling limit of blue zone near that zone over there. And if you get to some of these little wood tree uh, areas, they have a little sneaky zones that you can kind of like slide your way into um, and you can kind of fix your way up on top of this. Now, there's also quite a few of these little tiny mini ledges, which is why I like zones like this, because you can just get like a teleporter and a few basic things over on this side and no one's going to check to see if you're up here. Maybe an alpha if they are forward or something like that will look around. But yeah, like building in the spot like this is always a super valuable thing. All right, so blue spot number three. And again, this is another one of those that's a little bit out of the hidden way, which is why I like it. Not so much a rat hole, but more of just out of the hidden way. Uh, so here's the metal structure above, uh, above the blue zone, just before the rad zone. You can see that inside of this right here, there's a lovely little area that you can build inside of. Now, obviously there's a little build point right here, but it'd be very difficult to get up into this zone right here. And this entire thing is buildable on the inside. Now there are quite a few little nooks and crannies in this one as well that you can slide your way into. I'm not gonna bother to show you all of them because it, it would take me way too long to do that. But uh, yeah, you can build in pretty much this entire thing and that's super strong, especially if you build up in underneath this, it's very difficult to raid upwards in arc. So yeah, definitely capitalize on this location. Now let's go ahead and move on to blue four. For those of you using this to raid other people, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. All right, so blue number four, let's go ahead and go inside of this zone. This is another one of my favorites. This is a huge base rat hole. Um, you can see that I am inside of like a crystal structure over here. Basically, this is the, uh, um, I don't know what you want to call it, the entrance into red, the right above red zone. And uh, it's got a nice little structure and it is literally the cap of the map. This giant metal tube right here can be your point. And then right over here, and then you go up and in, and this is the huge rat hole. Now, plenty of room to build what you need in here. Wouldn't be able to raise more than a couple of spinos, but most other creatures on this map, you wouldn't have any problems with at all. So let's go ahead and go to blue five. <clears throat> most of the ones I'm gonna try and show you in blue zone have building space a lot. And some people be like, you didn't find mine. I'm not trying to show every little tiny nook and cranny of this entire game because that would be like thousands of rat holes but again these are the ones that you can actually build in and do a little bit with so here is another one this is a ceiling base there's the cords just so you can see it again above the metal tube i like this zone a lot because you got these small nooks and crannies that are really hard to locate and really hard to get into um, but this is more of like a solo player again the only way in is right there you can't throw turtles up into this zone so a few, uh, just a few turrets would do. Um, again, someone can raid this, but it's out of the way and that's the point of a rat hole. So let's go ahead and go to six. And number six. All right, so another base with a large zone. You can see where I am right now. There's the cords. And this is inside of one of the metal structures, obviously. Now there are a few entrance points most are very small and you can't actually get inside of. So the only thing that you want to know is you can actually entrance and are get in only from this right over here. So being able to build this entire section and then right over here as well is a really strong point because this is a huge zone that you could build inside of, especially once you get a little larger and you can take over the entire metal structure. It goes down right above the spire and you can see it right here. It is the wheel and then go up the wheel and then on the back side of the wheel, you have a nice little rat hole that you can build inside of. And it does go back a little bit so you can kind of, you know, do a little bit of the more valuables back behind this and then have your turrets up higher. 
Now, there are a few little weird things like that right there that you'd have to defend against, but you know, not super bad, pretty cool little location. So let's go ahead and go to number seven. Did I really skip seven? Am I stupid? Okay, maybe number eight. <clears throat> All right, number eight on our list. Uh, where did I build this one? Oh yeah, it's just because it's on top of everything again. So another metal zone, you can see this right here. Uh, this is another one of those giant metal structures. And again, this is what it looks like beneath it. And then if you get over to the, oh my goodness, did I lose it again, no, okay. Uh, you can get up into this crack right here and it goes back for a little bit. It does have an entrance point. There's one of them. And uh, you can get, even though it's like a little mesh point right here, you can kind of slide your way back in and down. And then this little zone up here is buildable as well. And there are a few small cracks around this zone that you can kind of cruise up into as well um, to hide some basic functions and stuff like that. So definitely a neat little uh, multi-purpose rat hole if you want to think of it that way. Um, but you can slide around up here a little bit and kind of get what you need to get done. So definitely one of those places you probably want to know, but you know, up to you. All right, number nine. Wow, did I skip a few? I'm going crazy, okay. Keep in mind that when I'm looking for these, I'm spending hours at a time. So it's like, if I mess up a few numbers, my bad. All right, number 10 on our list is another one. I call this a rat hole, but I don't know if you would wanna call it a rat hole, but it's up to you. Uh, so anyways, right here, there is a little bit of a zone. And if you look up, I am basically on the top of the map because this is the top of a tree point. I like zones like this because you can kind of tuck away like I am right here. I like this zone a lot. I don't know why I tend to build in here early, I do. It's hard to locate this zone. And uh, there's little nooks and crannies up like this right here. And uh, you can kind of hide some stuff out of the beat path without people ever coming up here because there's no way to get up here on foot. So you'd have to either get up here on a like the flying thing, uh, rock drake or with a tech suit. And if you just put your stuff in like an area like this, no one's gonna look in there. So yeah, definitely like this one a lot. So you can capitalize on building on top of the map. There's a bunch of these little tiny little areas, but just so you can see where it looks like there's like one of those trees. And that's what it looks like. It's the top of that little spire right there. So let's go ahead and go to 11. Um, <clears throat> and again, I'm trying to go quick so we can actually get through all of these without spending too much time on all of them. You don't want to see all of them probably. All right, so 11, another one of those really popular base locations just due to the fact that it's well known. But uh, basically, if you go to the blue zone, this is where I am. I am right above the little corner, if you want to think of it that way. You can fit a few things up in here and there's a nice little small area that you can tuck some stuff up away and in. And then if you were to build a cliff platform right here, you can kind of have a complete circle and then a turret wall underneath you. Because ceiling bases are so strong, this gives you a lot of different possibilities for this zone. So that's kind of why I have this one highlighted. I see bases there all the time. It's just a pain to raid it because it's not fun to raid ceiling bases especially when people have turrets set right. All right, so this next one is another, uh, you can see I've got a ceiling base location right here. So I've actually rated quite a few bases on these platforms. I'm not a big fan of building on those platforms, but building on the ceiling above those platforms, however, is a very, very popular thing. Now there's a few ledges, small ledges, like this one right here, and this next one up on this zone that are very difficult to raid just due to the fact that getting a cannon to shoot up there is hard but having some turrets up there will make it very difficult to hit so there's a few of the little cracks up in there you can see where i'm looking right now and that gives you access to actually building in a bunch of cool little spots these are the ceiling bases i'm not going to show you really many more ceiling bases like this because you know you can put a cliff platy up anywhere you want but uh that's one of the more, more popular ones i would say so <clears throat> do what you will with that one Number 13, and cruising right along. This is another one that's a little bit out of the, the way, but it's a popular location just due to the fact that this ledge right here is filled with resources and Nameless cannot spawn. And you can build yourself inside of these little gooey, ooey structures. Now there's a few ways to kind of like tuck your way down and into them, um, but you can also get up in inside one of these and get yourself out of the hidden pathway and an easy access to resources. I just like this for a starting point, not necessarily a good base location long term, but uh, a good starting point because it's right above that ledge right there. <clears throat> I just call them the ooey gooey structures. I don't know what they're actually called.
All right, another base location that is pretty cool. You can see where I am right now. I've built in this one to start up many, many times. So basically what you're looking for is the metal structure. There it is on the map. And there we are over there. So you can basically build inside of this. And what I tend to do is I'll get a small cliff platform and then build it as far as I can on the wall over there. And it will barely be exposed if you set it properly. You just have to kind of like guide it into that corner. And then you can build inside of this tube without being exposed at all. So it's a very easy location to get to, but it's also out of like, people don't typically check zones like this. Not really sure why, but they just don't. So, all right, blue zone 15. <clears throat> all right, the next location, again, we are still in the blue zone. I like this one because it's like abnormal, but it's very difficult to build anything big in here. But if you go to the actual boards that I'm at right now you can see it this is like a corner of a map there is a metal structure that you can build inside of and if you're a cheeky with it without much turrets you can probably hide a couple of basic things in here in a treasure chest or two uh, just because you can build inside of this metal structure and there's no way to hit it from the ground either so uh yeah not too bad but you can build entire I mean, this entire thing would be buildable and then use it because these walls are unbreakable obviously so that's definitely a useful thing so yeah do with that what you wish. A lot of metal structures in the blue zone are super good base locations. All right, blue zone number 16. <clears throat> All right, again, another one of those zones that's kind of pretty high up and out of the way. This is a very popular ledge to build in. I'm not really sure why. I don't like this one just due to the fact that it's kind of in the middle of nowhere, but you know, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, this ledge, do you see the cords where I'm at? Um, but it's a it's a very good sized ledge. You can build on the outside of it. And it would be difficult to hit with anything, really. Uh, and that's just due to the fact that it's kind of way high up away from most things. Um, you can't build anything massive, but it's certainly a good small or medium sized base location to put something right over there. What was this number before I go crazy? Blue 17. OK, blue 17. Let's go ahead and get this next one set up. All right, and on to the next one. This one, there is a spawn point for a drop right above it. But again, you can see I'm inside of a metal location. I like this one as a entrance point into a server, especially building up when it, start, it first starts. It's like the little triangle thing that looks like it's out of a Halo series. You can build inside of this entire thing right here. Just a quick startup with a few forges or something like that will be a, I mean, if it's not, you can't raid this super easily right off the bat. You can easily get into it, but a couple of turrets would prevent early game. It's a great early game build spot just to get resources and things can't get inside of it. So that's why I capitalize on this one. All right, let's go ahead and go to blue 18. And notice how I build in a lot of the metal spots. They're they really are good spots to start in. I don't know why it's just it, it always seems to be that way. All right, so blue 18 is very near where we kind of were, but there you can see that's a little bit different. And there's the entrance point into it. There is a blue zone right here. I like to put a generator, a tech genie up in there because you can get up in here and it's like a giant tube that you can only get in one way. And then what you can do is you can also build back. There's a couple of small spots where it just it's a little rat hole that you have to crouch through and it goes all the way back so you got like i don't know three or four seconds of crouching and you can keep kind of pushing things around in this hole so you could easily put a safe in a corner or something like that and uh, someone would have to soak your base with just by crouching and that's not easy to do with a couple of turrets so yeah you could easily put a couple of turrets just a little little hidey rat hole right over there all right blue 19 and there's like four or five of those things right there by the way so you can use those however you want Next spot is pretty close to where we just were. And it's another one of those popular build locations because it's weird. So this little flat zone right here only has two entrances. It's this, this open point right there and you can land on this. And then the other entrance is this zone right over here. Now you can technically go around this side over here, but it's basically like up behind the big blue crystals and uh, you can kind of tuck your way over into the corner over here. And yeah, so it's a pretty good location. <clears throat> I usually build like a like a farming fob over here because you can get a ton of access to metal over here. So I'm a big fan of that metal access. Um, I don't have 
the stuff exposed right now, but you could, if, I mean, I can hit some things and you'll see that I'm nearby, but yeah, pretty cool. All right, now, now blue number 20. Let's go ahead and go blue 20. And again, for those of you that are like teacher going fast, dude, there's like 50 spots in this video. I'm trying to go as quick as I can, so there's not an hour long video. Another location that is pretty popular, it's pretty neat. I'm gonna go ahead and duck down so you can see what I'm talking about. It's another flat point up there. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and fly up on into this thing. And you can see there's a hidden rat hole on the back side of this one with a flat ledge. And uh, that flat ledge is a useful location. And you can also go over to this zone right here and crouch your way. And it takes a little bit of left and right to get back up into this thing. Um, but you can get up into this zone and then you can technically get, yeah, there it is. Okay, there's a little bit of a bigger room that it opens up into on this back side over here. So you can definitely get a few things in here, especially if you have some turrets aimed downhill. So yeah, good location. All right, next on our list, blue 21. I think I might've just done blue 21, but we'll see. I think this is a new one. This is the new one. Yeah, cool. All right, blue 21. This is another location that's high up in the ceiling. So it's kind of hard to get to. You can see where I am right here and you can see that it goes back in a little bit and it's got some pretty neat space back up in here. And obviously I'm still going. Yeah, this is a good one. So uh, you can get your entire your way back up in there. And there's only one entrance point into this little mini cave. It, it is the entrance point right over here. And here's the cord, so you can see it on the map. And what it looks like, it is up there. You can build something on the spire to prevent people from getting up and in. I've had to raid this base and it sucked. It took us way too long to raid this base just because they had them on players only. So when we threw our carbos, they didn't soak and we had to raid with a, uh, what's it called? The sh airship things. And it's not fun to raid with those. So. Uh, yeah, that's not a great experience, but it's a pretty cool base location and it goes up and in and it's huge. So you can build inside of it. All right. So that's blue 22. All right. Next spot. It's another one that people know about already because it's probably one of the most broken base locations in the entire game. And that is Shadow Cave. Shadow Cave is essentially a cave that is a uh, artifact cave that you can go down inside of. And we're going to go ahead and show you if you for those of you that don't know, I'll just go real quick into this one. So basically, you can go down inside of this. It pops back up. You get out of the water and this entire cave is buildable. And just so you can see where I am right now, right? Pretty hard to get into here. Then you'd have to land on that ledge. Then you'd have to go down here, go through this. This is water that doesn't have anything in it. There's sometimes a drop in this one. Um, and then you'd have to work your way down this mini cave. And then there's even more open zones. This is probably the strongest base location in the game. And then this opens up to down here, which opens up into down into that, which then opens up into this. It's it's a crazy base uh, location that you can build so much in that people can't raid you. Like they just can't. Um, especially if you have a couple of, uh, if you have a good design, no one's getting in here. Uh, nameless, they do spawn in here. So that's the one thing that kind of sucks about this location. So you have to build for that in mind, uh, but it's a still a really, really strong base location. So definitely capitalize on it because yeah, building in this is a super, super popular thing to do. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the next one. Let's go blue 23. And come on now, thank you. <clears throat> All right, blue 23 is another really good base location. It is a smaller crouch hole. I use this as my reaper trap, basically. It is a, it's a nice little long pathway that you have to crouch and jump and move your way into. And just so you can see, this is the entrance point. It's right next to the radiation zone. There's the entrance. This is the radiation zone. Here it is on the map. Pretty powerful. And it kind of serves as a great entry because reapers spawn over there and they spawn over there. So I use this as my reaper teleport zone. I just put a teleporter inside of it and I use that zone to get to. So pretty, pretty strong zone. I don't know if there's, there is a blue 24. I was like, I don't, we gotta be close to the end over here. Um, and I tried to show you a couple inside of each area, but you know, it is what it is. All right. So blue 24, another ceiling base, like you see me inside of right now. I told you I wouldn't show you too many of these, but this is a cool one. I couldn't help. 
Uh, you can tuck away a few foundations and stuff like that inside of this one and then move around up above. So you can easily get to the ceiling here and just so you can see where I am, this is again, very nearby the Reaper zone. If I don't have that one over there, I usually build up in this little tiny rat hole right over here. So if I can't do this one, what I'll do is I will uh, go to the next one. Did I put it in this video? Yeah, I did, okay, cool. All right, so blue 25 and what we're going to do in this one is show you this one. It's more tucked out of the way than it is a rat hole. Um, so this is some blue zone over here. This is the water. The shadow cave is over there. And if you look over here, you'll see a bunch of blue crystals. They're not on my screen. And then if you cut down over here, there's a nice little tucked away hole that you can use as an entrance point or a raid point um, to get to some of those locations down in this zone. And here is that location right over there. So that might be the last one it is cool so anyways those are a bunch of base locations you can also find pretty much any number of base locations by just going up into the ceiling and then doing what you can to get up as high as you can in there because that's just how this game and map works i'm pretty sure i just found another one kind of did so anyways hope for this video helps you out and if you don't mind smack that like button leave a comment below for the algorithm and then consider subbing to the channel all right teach out